Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching MC Car Kid and today we are back, back in Greenville with a brand new update which added new buildings and three new cars. Not really sure what this cop is doing, but they added a new park, updated the school, and moved the location of the daycare. Also, the three new cars that they added were the 2016 Porsche Macan S, the 2012 Toyota RAV4, and the 2011, 2011 Honda Odyssey EXL. So, starting off with this Macan, it looks pretty good. Let's take a sound. Take a moment to hear what it sounds like. Not bad for an SUV of this size. Now, of course, this is a compact, luxury, sporty SUV, whatever you want to call it. And... And without the exceptions of, um... Um, it being old here and there, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But, um... This guy's really distracting me. I'm gonna go find a better spot. All right, so it turns out he didn't really want much to do with me, but let's take a moment to look at this car. As you can see, you have your turn signals on the side and your turn signals in the back. Brake lights, headlights in the back too. Very, very realistic and the proportions are perfect. This color is mahogany. But before we get to driving this car, this new park actually takes place of um, the daycare. So this new park, it's pretty small, but it is fairly, fairly realistic. You have a little gazebo area over here and some picnic tables over here with your little cooktop grill. Um, I think they should have left the daycare here because the location that they moved it to, it, they did actually have to make it smaller. So let's drive over to the daycare. Holy moly, people are reckless today. They also changed the road here so you can actually make a left turn now, instead of having to go all the way up and around. Now they actually decreased the size of the daycare um, incredibly. This thing is 20 times smaller than it was before. And honestly, I think they should have just put the park over here because it would have been worth it. The size of this is terrible. You're not gonna fit any kids in here. And I do not know where the entrance is. There's a door right here. This is incredibly small. You have a little check-in desk there and you have some tables, a little counting chart, some sunflowers and yeah. So, I really do not think they should have moved the daycare. It was, I personally think it was a stupid decision, but you know, it's not my choice. Next, actually, while I'm going through all these buildings, you actually get a sample of this car. And to be honest, um, the steering is a little bit off, but this thing is incredibly fast. As you see, they added a tower right there and they, slightly updated this building sorry about my awful parking in all of these parking spots the park the daycare and now here they actually updated this building and the um school building and now it's a high school but you have a little cooktop um sink and your fridge over here these look like cots yeah so those are cots so you can sleep, six of them right there, 
and your little bathroom. No shower. When you come into here, you have five bays for your fire truck, but um, these two, these larger bays can probably fit um, two trucks in one. So you could probably fit a decent amount of trucks, fire trucks, inside there. Moving on to the school, which was incredibly, incredibly updated. When I drove over there, I looked at it and I was surprised how well, how much of an upgrade it is. And honestly, this car, I have been wanting them to add Macan for a while now. But this thing is spot on. While we're waiting at this light, I know I didn't talk too much about the car, but um, I was driving around a bit, so you guys, if you pay attention, you could probably, um, I don't really have to talk too much because I've been seeing that I talk a lot in my videos. But while we're sitting at this light here, we might as well just look at the next car. Hazards, headlights, brake lights, and yeah, pretty much all the same horn. Um, I forgot to mention before that the horn on the Macan is the same as this thing. But yeah, this thing, of course, is much slower than the um, Macan. And you can see this new school is enormous. It's absolutely enormous. Now, of course, I'm not going to do a full walkthrough of the school because that would actually surprisingly take a while because I walked across the entire school and it took a while. But we'll park there, my terrible parking again. Take a moment to admire the car and don't look at the Tesla in the background. But yeah. Overall, it's a pretty good car. Again, I think it was about 12 grand, so very affordable for people who want to do family role plays but don't want to pay for crazy expensive cars like um, some of the SUVs. But as you can see, a huge upgrade. You have your windows here, and your cafeteria is quite large. Over there, those two doors are your gym new updated bright red dark red lockers geography class and yeah pretty much all the classrooms are the same except for the whiteboard spanish of course you're learning spanish math you're learning math and yeah so when you come over here this is another portion to the school this right here's the library So this new school is ginormous and probably it would actually be really good for role plays. That is the main office. So you probably walk through these doors and then you can get transferred over there to the school. I'm pointing at my computer screen like you guys can see me. Let's hop back in the RAV4 though. If you guys were wondering, this one is in super white. Super white. So, yeah. Now we can talk about the cars now that all the buildings and parks and stuff are out of the way. And right off the bat, this thing, I think the steering on all of the cars could use an upgrade on all the new cars. I haven't driven the Odyssey yet. But, um, I think we're gonna eliminate the speed test, the top speed test for today, unless I can hit it right now. Let's just, oh, nope. I thought we could make that. Nope, not happening. All right. So of course this thing is gas powered, not electric as you can hear. He also updated, oh my God, I am a bad driver today. Bad driver, bad parker, bad everything. He, um, he also updated some of the curbs 
around. Holy moly, is it just me or is it these cars? Let's move on to the next car. As I was saying, he did update the curb, update the curbs around the police station so that they smooth, so that um, they flow more easily. I'm making no sense today, but um, hopefully you guys understand me. The decline if you fall off is, yeah. Turn signals. Turn signals on the mirrors. Turn signals there. Headlights. Brake lights. Yeah. Horn. Same horn. I think. And it pretty much sounds the same as all the other cars in Repo. Which kind of disappoints me because I do like the unique sounds. But it is okay. Yeah. So soon I actually will be uploading a Bloxburg video. Honestly, in quarantine two weeks, uh, I haven't uploaded it. It does not feel like two weeks. Time just flies. I do not know where it all goes. But 135 miles per hour in sixth gear is the top speed of this minivan. Which um, seems pretty fast. I think the Macan did 155. We didn't test it out on video, but I think it did 155. And I would assume that the RAV4 did around around there. Honestly, I do, don't make sense, just even talking, I can hear myself talking, I do not make sense at all. Honestly, I think I'm just rambling on and on and on. But yeah, um, if the next video, I'll probably turn down the game volume so you guys can hear me better because I feel like I'm screaming. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. I want to thank every, each and one of you for 75 subscribers. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.